Um, and the third one uh, value that messes up relationships is uh, no desire for self-improvement. Mm. Complacency. Complacency is part of it. <laughs> uh, like uh, you don't have any um, accountability. And, and ironically, there's a hypocrisy here, right? You're like holding other people accountable, but then you yourself believe don't. like you don't need to improve uh -huh. um, and that you, you're good the way you are. Uh, and any flaw you have, if people don't accept it, uh, it's their off. fault. Oh. Um, body positivity being being one of them, and and uh, so that's uh, you know that that's another one. Do you think it's overcompensation due to lack of confidence or fear? You know, judgment. I guess all those. Um, yeah, partly. I mean, like this this, this desire for. I think it's also the coddling of America, um, which which is kind of like every every little kid gets a trophy, right? There's there's everybody's a winner, and so when you grow up with that mentality, people are complacent. Well, or, you don't you don't get the feedback that you need to actually improve. You or, think everything's good. Well, no, there's also like entitlement, right? So there's a lot of entitlement in in this country as well too, like assuming that I deserve this, but in reality, do you really deserve it? And is it your place to receive it? Lack of desire for self-improvement kind of mm -hmm. goes hand in hand with holding the other side accountable. That, mm -hmm. that second value we were talking about, judging. Yeah. So when you're judging other people, it's kind of you automatically don't hold yourself accountable. So they go kind of go hand in hand. So the more you judge other people the less you're going to hold yourself accountable oh. and in flip side if you if you take a lot of responsibility you will naturally judge other people less you're just focused on yourself that's true because so. you have more time focusing on thinking and being worried or whatever it is yeah to take care of the needs that you need to to i guess figure out solutions and things versus if you're worrying mm. about other mm. people so they say right people who are bored mm -hmm. um are the people most prone to judgment or to that does a good observation right yeah. more for i think mm -hmm. it's more to fill in that void of entertainment self-fulfilling prophecies like um when you're bored what do you do stare at a wall or create some drama sure i'm mm -hmm. gonna create some yeah drama, you create right? some drama yeah and um the people that don't really need the drama are way too busy for it they're, they're too busy focusing on themselves leveling yeah. up their own career or ambitions yeah. or hobbies so yeah you can ask yourself do you want to focus your energy and, and time on yourself or or on, on other people if you're focusing your time too much on other people you're you're drifting towards cancel land and cancel culture and that puts your your own relationship at risk well no i think it just dilutes um what your like uh what your goals are whatever your goals or your north star that too are. yes so it's like not being in touch with yourself and you lose your sense of identity because your identity is so tied up On with other, other people, people yeah. that you lose yourself like what, what about me <laughs> yeah so yeah so that's so that basically holding true to your values and um and your moral compass mm -hmm. things like that yeah so that's great so that's that's the third one this lack of desire for self-improvement and so the fourth one is yeah. that messes up relationships uh this value of unrealistic expectations on your partner um and where do you think that stems from because uh, we see a lot of that today i think it comes with culture uh, um, from culture and and and, and it, it varies from different societies i know there's there are some communities in in the chinese culture um where it's like the girl expects the guy to take care of, care of everything right anytime there's a problem well, it's not just chinese i think it's just asian culture or mm. but what about italians and and europeans <laughs> and americans yeah i mean I, I i can't speak too much about like specific ethnicities but like in the american and chinese culture um there has been a trend where the the guy there's an expectation the guy will take care of everything um and when things don't go well it's like like you know when you have those unrealistic expectations it's fine to have the expectation that that you know one side will 
take care of the, the brunt of the work. But if you're not contributing to the solution, then then that's a problem. You're set up for failure. It's how I, so? Explain more in depth. Yeah. So, like, like you know, when it comes to a, a you know a two person relationship, it's like a yin yang relationship that you, the balance is, is ideal, and and being aware of where each person is strong and where you're weak and where you can full, you know fill in each other's gaps. Mm. I think that's uh, an important kind of uh, experience and exercise to, to go through. Um, but if you have the expectation that the other person is going to take care of all of it, um, then things go wrong when, and it's out of, ba- it's out of balance because there's, there's a well, extreme. Because there's more pressure, right? Mm-hmm. When you have high expectation, all that pressure, anxiety, worry, what, whatever you carry, you don't want. So you just dump it onto someone else mm-hmm. and that someone else will shoulder the burden or carry it but as a human you only have so much or certain capacity for that and Mm. so i guess what you're saying is it should be more of a teamwork where um even though it may be such a huge pressure to either split it or to share the load and to make it easier to navigate through the process of what needs to be done yeah i definitely see it as like a team effort rather than uh and by team i don't mean 50 50 like that's 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 not what it is it's like for example if there's an expectation on somebody to to take care of um you know most of the um the the income for 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 the two then there's still there should still be an expectation on on the other person to bring in like 20 percent. so like 80 20 or like 70 30 uh it, it Yes, I fifty fifty is ideal, but like, if if there is an expectation, it shouldn't be one hundred zero. Um, and s- same thing with same thing with like chores. It's it's not like one person takes care of one hundred percent of all the uh, the laundry or, and stuff like that, and the other person does absolutely zero. Ideally, you want a well, balance. I think what you're trying to get at is it's a more of a compromise, right? So yeah. compromising and teamwork you have to sacrifice something. So it's like if one person wants something badly, but the other person wants something totally opposite, how do you get to that solution where both parties are happy? That means on both sides, something has to give and you have to sacrifice for that option B or C. And the thing is, you won't be totally 100% happy, but at least find a middle ground that works for both. and at least then both of you guys will not be, I guess, you know, pissed off or angry, upset kind of thing. Yeah. And, and I would say participating in the process of coming to an alignment is kind of like being proactive. It's, it's, it. it's, it's really critical to kind of, uh, resolving these, these different goals or different, um, uh expectations. You mean like maybe bouncing ideas off of each other? Yeah. Bouncing like- ideas. And, and, but it's critical instead of just complaining, Hey, like you always do the, like, you know, I always do the dishes and you never like, you know, whatever, like you, it's, you have to give a suggestion or like say, for example, the typical example is like a couple can't figure out where to, where to go eat out on a, on <laughs> a night 